thing you've proven, Daniel, is that if you can build a home and live here, you can move anywhere. <laughs> you can live anywhere because the place where there's no electric, no water, and you can make it arable and usable and livable and tolerable, then I don't know where else in the country you couldn't go. Yeah. Well, I wanted to know, I mean, my, my purpose of coming was to find out, is it, well, number one, the adventure <laughs> of coming here. And second, to determine if it's something that a 64-year-old with a back problem could possibly do. Um, and I'm, and I'm, along with others, I've been brainstorming ways to try and make it not so far as Ron, who's trying to make a one-and-all machine that you put your powder in this end, your liquid on that end, <laughs> just out poops air creep. You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to go that far because I'm not that sophisticated. Yeah, but, but he's selling them. Maybe so. But, uh, but is it something one man could do by themselves, or one, one man and woman? Let's say could do, and I think we could. I think we could do it. And um, a dog. And yeah, dog. Well, <laughs> he's not much help, but <laughs> good for supervising that. But he's mighty cute. So uh, yeah, that was my uh, the investigative purpose was to see is this something we could realistically do, and that's part of why I brought all the parts. You helped me make the air creep uh, foam generator, and it actually worked. <laughs> we put it through its paces, and it, it helped the last few days. Uh, so I've been able to determine that, yeah, this is something we could do. Now we're, we'd have to change the game plan a little bit, you know, how we do the pours and whether we, you know, you mentioned whether you'd want to do a, uh, uh, you know, frame out the home and, you know, maybe have it all framed and ready to go and just pour between studs and, you know, with 24 inch on center, maybe even steel uh, or metal. Not Anyway, we're thinking of uh, how we could do it. And then lastly, I've, I've realized that and everybody seems to agree with this too, is start smaller. I was talking with uh, Boone's, Boone's brother, uh, Cody. Cody, and he was saying, Boone was saying, I'll build a wall. Okay. And he's a guy that had a concrete business. So the idea is start small so you don't muck up your home. And secondly, I think it was Cody was saying, I'll just build a chicken coop. Yeah. And so if you start with something small, that if it doesn't come out well, you haven't messed up your residence, mm -hmm. uh, and you, you're going to learn it by <laughs> doing anyway by doing that. It sounds like a great Way to go. Yeah, I mean, like even this little tiny thing, you have one door and a bed on one side, and it'd be infinitely more comfortable than a little RV that you'd buy and drag out here. Because you could actually be able to stay cool and warm in there. Yeah. And uh, and be sheltered from the wind, and it wouldn't be rocking around and either. And the bugs. And the bugs. Yeah, what I, what I noticed in this building was you have two doors and a cross ventilation. If you had right. screen doors, really I could sleep in there. Yeah, good point. Not, and during the day when it's 97 or 100, yeah. it's really so somebody asked me to end it up. Somebody asked me, uh, did you get what you wanted out of class? I think it was Mike, the electrician, Mike. And he said, did you get what you wanted out of class? And I said, yeah. I mean, what I wanted was to determine, is this feasible? And I've determined that. That was really my whole goal. Not to learn how to be an expert at it, necessarily. You can't do that. So, Kevin, anything, any thoughts you want to share on it? Um, yeah, I definitely learned. Well, I didn't know a whole lot. Terry is always researching things like always, always <coughs> so uh yeah coming here and getting some hands-on uh, i definitely appreciate uh ask jason a lot of questions in, in, anybody who had experience i'm like what are you doing here what's what's going on uh but yeah like now that i've been here i see that it is definitely doable because um, it wasn't really here when you did the uh, the mixing it seemed a little complicated but um I'm sure it's doable with you know, trial and error. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's definitely good to know that uh, we need to keep some ventilation. There's just a lot that, that goes into to planning when you are building the structure like right. this. Right. Before you pour, you've got to know all your details. Yeah. you got to plan everything ahead of time. Yeah. So I was thinking, I, I think I might actually try to, uh, like, well, you're saying, like, maybe run wires first. It's, that's just one less thing to have to worry about later. As as much as you as you can, I guess if you're doing all pure air treat, you really can't do that because you're just doing nothing. Anyway, um, no, I really enjoyed being here. This, is, this has been great. Cool, it's nice and cold. Nelson. Uh, well, I'll keep mine short. They say I talk too much. So oh no. Blabber mouth. Short. Yeah, blabber mouth. <laughs> Shut up. But uh, I guess uh, what I got is uh, I came here to learn some little bit of cement and air conditioning but I got a whole lot more out of it I guess I just wanted to thank everybody for their patience and taking the time to explain stuff to me 
Aurora for cooking every day. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I got out of this thing is uh, where people can come together and share ideas. And so I'm grateful for that, man. And thanks, Danny. You bet. You're welcome. And you also mentioned that when things went wrong, you don't have to panic, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when things went wrong, I thought it was going to be, it's going to go pretty bad. But uh, Daniel was pretty cool, calm and collected and said, no problem. Grab the cob gun and fixed it. Yeah, that's where the experience really yes so yeah there were several days where I'm like and then the next day he's like oh he's yeah just, no problem that huge thing that, or the thing I thought was a huge mistake was like oh that was yeah, really nice so. well like they were talking about with the mistakes I think because of all the mistakes we all learn a lot of what not to do things that could possibly especially with our first build go wrong right you know with our build you know we would have just been like oh no it's a crack <laughs> Got to start over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and now we know how to fix a lot of it. I mean, yes. the fabric fixes most of it. Mm -hmm. So I definitely know how to do fabric. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> you did the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> that was tricky. I know I'm not gonna do any wood that sticks out. <laughs> hard. <laughs> It was really nice when you're working up there to have a place to stand. Yeah, we're, we're trying to discuss about the flat roof. We wanted the flat roof type and then he wants to do something, have a flat roof and then do some sort of attic type up there. Yeah, A-frame over it and then, yeah. you know, you can use it for something. Oh, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really appreciated all the, you know, everyone letting me film. What I was looking to get out of the class was, you know, the confidence that I could either do it myself or confidence that I could put a, a small enough crew together to easily train to handle some of the back work that I don't either can't do or not capable of doing. And I was able to see that's definitely, you know, if we can get you guys to build this, surely oh, I we can know. get somebody else. I know. That's what we were doing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've, I've been following the, you know, the YouTube rabbit hole for so long and watching the videos. And I watched everybody else's videos, too, the competitors and all these uh -huh. other classes and yeah. things. And the hang-up that I had as far as, like, being able to just do it off the videos for me was... The actual air, the soft air creep mixture itself. Mm -hmm. Like you can watch it on video, but right. until you can see it and mm -hmm. put your hands in it and feel that consistency, see what the foam you don't know like. if you're dealing with like pudding, it's, you know, or whip topping or, or mm -hmm. cement. And there's just so many variations in the different climates that I was afraid that mm -hmm. if I were going to do the wrong consistency, that maybe mm -hmm. maybe this formula works great in the desert, but if you know if you change in you know, a different climate, maybe it was a little different, but being able to actually put my hands in it and see it and feel it and know what it's supposed to look like correctly that was my number one thing that I wanted to get from the class now what, the additional things that I got from the class that I wasn't you know I knew I was going to get like the worm the worm toilets huge water collection uh, I loved all that stuff but I think the confidence you know and a few of the technical things of course seeing the mistakes was uh, <laughs> seeing some pitfalls to avoid and then the unexpected benefit besides you know out here and you know i wasn't expecting the desert to be beautiful and the stars and all that but the the camaraderie with the people and all of these people with the very like-minded with similar mm -hmm. dreams that are actually doing something to put their dreams into work yeah. if you can sit at home and you can watch all the videos and never do anything but to go you know, a thousand miles from anywhere to meet with other people that actually are doing it. That's a really big confidence booster too. And then learning about what everybody wants to do and their ideas and all these cool design, you know, possibilities. And wow, you know, and my simple idea kind of got a little more complicated and then I'm like, <laughs> oh, I could do this or I could do that. And I mean, that was a really huge unexpected benefit was the making the new friends I think yeah, absolutely yes, absolutely Marie well I'm not here to learn about air crate <sighs> I don't know if I can say <laughs> yeah. you're a family yeah. we feel the same way we're people thank you all for being proud of it you're amazing I might need to pass 
Uh, yeah, I, I uh, kind of a lot of what has been said already, but because um, I, yeah, I just wanted to see if this is something I could do myself and go home. And yeah. um, uh, just see, uh, you know, like, yeah, just something that's more manageable with me, just like just a few, maybe a few friends of mine or something, just to, to build it. And, uh, I also like, yeah, I, I'm looking to get land and, and, and kind of do the off grid thing and all that, but I was also kind of thinking, like, well, can I also use this with, you know, the building and out of Pittsburgh also? And I found like a bunch of things I can do with, with this kind of uh, technology. And uh, like, I'm going to do like, probably do some garden boxes that a couple of us were talking about. And um, I have like this geodesic, it's just a like dome that. made out of. Uh, Electric conduit pipes. I just made a bunch of shots. I was thinking that could be a form that I could do, which is on the roof. So the other thing is, just every step of the way, we're like getting a little. This was this is really good. It was just the scale is just good too. I think it was, they could take in all of those all the little things. You know? Like we were saying, like all the little mistakes we made, and then we found out, well, it's not that big a deal. Like, just do this. But instead of being like, right, when you're first doing it, it's always like. Uh, Am I going to ruin this whole thing? Am I going to this whatever? Uh, you know, and then it's, yeah. But yeah, it's cool. I feel like, yeah, I do feel pretty confident about just going back and do something. So, so, so uh, yeah, it was great meeting everybody. Like mine. You know, it, was, it was great to uh, go back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, yeah, just not worrying about the whole whatever run of thing or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's been it's been great. So. Yeah, our adventure has been working all our lives and not taking vacations. So the our this is our first adventure outside of working, and our really first vacation. And uh, I told Alan, I said we can't be in our 60s and not do adventure. So uh, we got the adventure, which we're really happy about, and where it's just the two of us and not adult children needing babysitting with grandchildren, you know, and um, or the worries of all my clients who have issues. So we came out here and we had no idea we were coming to a desert. That's the truth. Oh, really? Well, when we, we signed up, we figured it out <laughs> before we came. But. <laughs> uh, I was looking to have an alternative home. I'm tired of being in a box when I'm a circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking dome, geodesic, um, firm house, and the Air Creek came up and well, earth ships first, but we didn't, we can't imagine ourselves pounding right now. We've been pounding all our lives. <laughs> <laughs> no more pounding, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah, but cool. I love the That's idea. Cool. And if I can incorporate some of that pretty idea mm -hmm. and some Especially this one, like most people had never picked up a tool in their life. Right. <laughs> and you're so amazing, Daniel. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, don't, know. I know that we could yeah. not have stood by and had, had someone not do it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> it would be really hard on us that we'd go to bed, we would be disturbed. You were yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know how you did, but I want to thank you for allowing the children to come mm -hmm. and our dogs to come because what you've created is a family organism here. And I can look all of you in the eyes and say, I love you. And I feel like family. 
It's like a domino effect going on here. <laughs> oh, it started happening a couple days ago when uh, Hickory left. Yeah. And yeah, we cried with Hickory. And, and then when Carl leaves, that's going to be really sad too. I'm not leaving. Does he know that? Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, this has been really great. Like uh, Ryan was saying, like I very much am a YouTube. I've been through YouTube mm -hmm. yeah. circles and spirals and yeah. infinite loops and. Mm -hmm. um, like I know I've mentioned several people like I um, like I was thinking to earth ships and earth bags and all these mm -hmm. alternate buildings and I like I went to the solar decathlon uh, in 2017 in Denver and I saw a, a little modular home that one of these universities built out of concrete and like I had seen like my mom you know she I grew up with her reading books about passive solar design and wow. knowing about thermal mass and south know, facing windows and blocking prevailing winds and that kind of stuff. Um, and so like I, it's, uh, I was really excited to have an opportunity to come to a place where they're using con like, you know, concrete as the primary, or cement. Right? I, know, I know the difference, but I just don't say it all the time. Where you know, cement is the primary, uh, you know, it's this amazing material that's you know, the, got the strength properties and, the, and also have it be insulated and um, fire resistant resistant and all these things. So, so um, yeah, it's kind of fun to see the material, how it works, to get your fingers in it and see um, how it develops, how it feels after a day, how it feels after a week, uh, how it feels after it's been wrapped in a, you know, a, right. the fabric and um, plastered over. Um, so it's, it's been the, to get, instead of the finger on the mouse, getting the, the finger uh, fingers in the, in the, in the cement and the air cream, so that's been it's been a really great experience, and then yeah, of course, um, I love the you know some of the last videos that you made where you're like, this is happening. There's going to be a you know they're going to say there's a second wave or whatever. This is happening regardless, and so I think that um, mm -hmm. a lot of us saw that. And I think that, that for me that was like one thing. Like okay, I, that, this yep. is somewhere I where I was like, oh, I don't know if I should go. Like I'm I'm going to go because I know there's going to be other people who who realize that. But the world that mm -hmm. we live in, that sometimes it's crazy, um, that there's crazy people in that crazy world that are really the sensible ones. <laughs> right. So um, so it's nice to be uh, around here and not having to wear a mask. Yes, the right kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, well, I came because I've been researching alternative building methods for like 20 years. Everything from the other to Strawville, all that. And then I stumbled upon John Gaia like a couple of years ago, I think. And then I was like, hmm, you're great. And then, and then, and then Daniel came out and said, or you could just do a monolithic form. And then I was like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> 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 And then, and then after that, I was like, and he came out with his class last year, and I was like, the end. <laughs> That's it. That's what I've been waiting for. And then, uh, and then he came, and I, I like, I mean, I like the idea of a round house, but the other problem is, is if you put all the your house in a round house, then it's really hard to live in for me. <laughs> Because I kind of live in a curved wall situation right now, and it just makes it difficult, and I'm actually really tired of it. So when he came out and said, "You want to be building a, you know, a square building, you know, like a pueblo style," I was like, "Hmm, well there you have it." <laughs> and then, uh, and then. You know, I, I grabbed a video course from last year and I watched it and I, I thought that I could probably do something with that, but you know, I, I still kind of felt like it was missing some some things and, and so I was like, and I, I guess my wife urged me to, 
take this opportunity to come out here. She's like, just do it, honey. Just go. And I'm like, all righty then. You only have both feet in. Yeah. We're telling all about property. I bought property out here because of Daniel. Uh, if he can, if he's buying property out here, that means it must be pretty good. Like pretty good for like you know off-grid living away from <laughs> what's about to happen. And we were telling all the other property owners you should come to my workshop and I'm like, hey, um, maybe we should come to the workshop. <laughs> 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 We'd meet people and they're like, how did you find out about it? It's like well, a few years ago in this class and whatever. And he's like, he's having a class, you should really check it out. Because <laughs> there are people that live out here that are kind of uh, in temporary structures like an RV or something mm -hmm. and they have that hopefully that we're talking about but sometimes people get stuck in that for a long mm -hmm. time they're like air creek do it yeah and so I, you know came out here and, and pretty much it filled in the the it connected the dots for me and so now i know i can do this no problem and so i, I hope to, by the end of the year to have something on my property over there it's gonna work really hard <coughs> It gives you that goal and idea and end to work towards. Yeah, I really enjoyed meeting everybody out here and making new friends. And uh, seeing that there's people, you know, that are aliens like me. <laughs> you know, because it's, I don't know, the, I don't know how it is if you still have a job, you know, like nine to five or whatever or you know trading time for money like i do currently i hope to retire very very soon though but uh but if you have one of those jobs i don't know how many like-minded people are in your job but i i can't find I mean, we have like 600 people and i can't find six people <laughs> that, you know are like yeah there's something wrong here you know? <laughs> Well, this mask thing, that, that right. ain't right. Uh, why do people think they need to wear that thing? Anyway, it was good to see, come out here and see that there's other people like me because after a while you're like, am I the only one? Yeah. Well, I was telling Roberta, if we get, if we drove up, we oh, was going to go home. Right. It, 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 it was a, a nine-hour trip to drive down. We're not too far in Dallas. Nine-hour trip would have turned into an 18-hour trip on our way back. And we showed up, and everybody had masks on. Yeah. <laughs> but thank God they did. That yeah. worked. Anything you want to add? Well, um, when, we, when Jason was looking through registering, uh, well, I'll say two things. For... For our family, when he was looking at registering, I thought, well, he'll just register and we'll just check in, you know, just observe. And um, then he told me that he, you know, you could have a, the family come, and so that made it um, for us simpler than having to go back and forth, back and forth, and not be allowed. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was nice to be able to come and participate. As far as our um, project to help people in, in a similar way that you're doing, it's fabulous to be able to teach them with confidence. Even before this class, when we did our beta course this summer, um, Jason was like, I already found what I'm doing, I'm confident. I mean, and we've been to a couple of different, you know, this, we've been in Mexico and uh, you know, earth blocks. Uh, conference in Kentucky with my insulated conflict forms training. This has been like a 15 year journey, hands on going to conferences and different things. And so for us to be able to um, to have found you and to help him connect with us, we have all these technologies just kind of floating, mm -hmm. fermenting. It's like, what is it going to be? So I just appreciate that you took the time to put your thoughts out there. I know it's very Out there, so that um, you know that others. Are I tell, I mean, I tell people all the time, like you may be at the beginning and see this, and 
wander off, but I was like, we've gone full circle on so many things that we knew 10 years ago we should be doing, or 20 years ago we should be doing. So you sort of like, we're here after 22 years. That should tell you something. You started in a good place. So we just appreciate you what you're doing. Appreciate you able to come and thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you. All right, Carl. Oh man, dude, I just learned that, that something is not, it's not easy. Nothing is really easy in this life when you're an old ball headed guy, but something I can adapt to my own style, something that can be done. And it's also good to, to know that there are other folks out here that are, are tired of overreach of government, over control of government, and, and want to get out from under that and not be controlled and surveilled. And essentially, have to eventually if you stay under that eventually you're going to have to depend on the government to take care of you and i i don't want that i don't want that for my family i don't want that for me and it's good to know that there's there are other people that think that way absolutely so so you're going to move out here no, i'm not leaving i'm already moved everything i got to my <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go to to alpine and, and get with those folks and see what's available i, I know we've seen some beautiful places out here and and like what the like towards their lingo when the sun starts going down through those rocks i mean it's like it, it just rejuvenates like a battery charge. something magical yes sir i don't have to rush and if i make a mistake i make a mistake big deal exactly. cover it up or something exactly <laughs> exactly yeah you can make the building process completely non-stressful you know you move at the pace you move you, you fix your mistakes you just keep moving forward even if it seems like it's just little steps eventually you arrive daniel i wanted to mention that uh, i asked my husband these slides are clearly and air cannot jump you've been amazing i appreciate it you are just adding to the story of what we have done like you wouldn't believe it it was so nice to be so nice to feel like i had a mentor even 